thing I would also just say quickly is like, there's subtly some stuff that's happening here that I don't know if it's engagement, but it's like in a way it's different and better that we could do this stuff online that Eric can submit a question as we're talking, it pops up. Other people can upvote this question. Like in theory, we could still be doing that in a conference center, but it doesn't happen so much. So it's, it's nice here. Um, so yeah, I mean, my bias again is like, is for peer driven events, right? In a, in a peer driven event, like an open space or something like that, right? Instead of it being one to many, me being the, the sage on the stage talking to you, which is sort of what we're doing here, right? Is we just put experts on the stage and they just talk at this passive audience who are often just as smart as we are. They just happen to be in the audience, um, right? And so the peer, a peer driven event would say, well, what is, you know, what's the future of, of the events industry? And there's, you know, a hundred or a thousand people out there. Let's put you out in small groups. Let's send you out to your breakouts. Let's self organize. Let's, you know, create stuff like that. I, I, that's what I've been doing over the last year. And I think it's so fun and it's way better than, you know, the Zoom fatigue of just watching somebody talk and, you know, talk to this little piece of glass is really not a winning formula for events. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I think it's, it's easy to do in person. I think it's also fairly easy to do online in terms of peer driven and getting people into breakout rooms. And I mean, Air Meet is great. I found it probably a year, year and a half ago. Um, and we'll do some of this later, but the lounges and the tables and like, that's what it's built for. And that's what I like. It's not just saying it's a webinar.